I guess no one is joining us, so I will open the meeting pursuant to Mayor LaChapelle's May 19th, 2021 mayor authorization in accordance with Massachusetts 940 CMR 29.10. This meeting of the East Hampton Board of Public Works will be conducted via remote participation. We get a roll call for this evening. Thomas Mosberry. Present. David Fagnan. Present. All right. I will make a motion to open the Board of Public Works for November 17th at 5.02 p.m. via remote participation. And I will second. All right. Thomas Mosberry. Yes. David Fagnan? Yes. Motion carries. All right. For item one on the agenda, we have public speak. It appears no one is in the meeting with us. So I'll move on to item number two, mayor speak. We are not expecting the mayor to join us this evening. So we will move on to approval of our last set of minutes. Dave, did you get a chance to take a look at those? Yes, I did. They look fine to me. Yep, yep. It was a pretty, pretty concise meeting last time, just with the approvals yep. and, and uh, director's report. So I will make a motion to approve them as Michelle prepared them. Second. Thomas Mosberry? Uh, yes. David Fagden? Yes. Motion carries. All right. So let me pull up the agenda. So, yep, the next item would be our continued discussions. Uh, Greg wanted to discuss some water sewer rate structure options um, to look at moving forward. So we'll we'll get that back on the table. So I kind of just wanted to get the board's thoughts on whether you wanted to bring Ty and Bond back into the, the uh, discussion. They had done the rate study for us back in 2019 and you know, were heavily involved in the process that kind of stopped when the pandemic hit. Um, that wanted to get uh, the board's, you know, input, input on whether you'd like to have time bond back involved in the process or possibly have a, you know, different engine, uh, different, different consultant, take a look at our rate structure and, you know, that report and kind of things that have happened over the past, you know, 18 or 20 months and see, um, you know, make some recommendations for us going forward. So that being said, do you have a, do you have any thoughts on that, Thomas or Dave or? Um, no, I agree. It's time to to start to reevaluate, um, you know, where we left off, and also, you know, we as a board and you as a director had sort of inherited that that agenda that had been put forward. So I'm I'm not opposed to what was, you know what we were going with. Um, but I know we did have some discussions with Ty and Bond after the fact of, you know, maybe presenting some alternate methods that other municipalities are using, you know, and I, I would I would like this board to get educated on, on the system that we do use, what alternatives there are out there and, and sort of make a fresh start of it, I think would be a, a good approach. Yeah. We well, it seems to make sense. We should build off of the Ty and Don report and yep. their experience with our, you know, with our infrastructure and some of the things we've done in the past. Yep. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, do we still have an open sort of PO with them or is that? No, but I can get one going. I would, I would I'd reach out to them. I, I just wanted to get your guys' take on that because I knew you guys were more heavily involved in that process than I was. And if you wanted a different firm looking at it, I was, you know, I could get a different firm involved, but I think I'm totally comfortable with working, continuing to work with Ty and Bond on it. I'll get them, I'll get a scope and fee together with, uh, uh, with Tiffany at Time Bond and we'll see and get a, get a, get a PO moving so that we can, they can look at, you know, what we've seen over the pandemic and, you know, what we were projecting prior to that and, and uh, go from there. Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, we're, obviously they have a, a lot of legacy with with our system and, and the uh, reports that they put together. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'd be open to to building on what they had had done. Okay, great. I don't I don't know what the procur procurement, you know, process is for other other consultants, but I think you know, at least for this interim step, we should continue with them. Oh, we should be able to just move forward with them without having to put out anything. So, okay. Okay. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's just building on the on the work that they had last handed us in 2019, and and said, you know, we're in a slightly different world now. Yes, we are. Yeah. So we're going to have to start addressing stormwater too again. Right. Correct. That was that was in that that proposal. You know, yeah. whether it's a separate enterprise fund or managed within sewer rates, but yes, you know, that'll, that'll be a larger public discussion, and and yeah. I think we, we need some groundwork for them for how to reframe that and and a lot of the questions that were brought up in the public hearing you know we still didn't get answers for because that public hearing process got suspended with the pandemic so yep definitely did <laughs> <laughs> yeah. abruptly yeah hard stop yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay so i'll start there I and mean, then another thing we're going to have to look at is I, I think an irrigation rate uh, in, in the near future, but it's all, it's all part of a bigger discussion. So. Yeah. You mentioned yeah. that last meeting also. Yeah. Yeah. The irrigation. Yeah. Yeah. We, we would have to look at how to revise the, the statutes around that, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's sort of codified right now, but I guess we are the ones who would ultimately be able to, to alter that. Yeah. But I think that that alteration comes as a part of a larger you know, multi-year rate. Oh yeah, structure. It's, you know, three to five years. And, uh, but I'll get time bond moving. You know, I'll get them involved on it, and uh, you know, I'll keep you guys on the loop on, on how it progresses. So. Yep, and we'll get a sort of timeline out there for for public involvement and yes, in what fiscal year we'd be looking to institute a multi-rate structure from. Yeah, I think we need to shoot for a, a rate change in FY twenty three. So it'll be July first. Yeah, so we'll get that started and, and look for public hearings in the spring, I would say then. Yep, and I'll try to hopefully we'll be at a point, I think we kind of are now, where we can set up some public tours. I want uh, to do what we can to educate the community on what, what we have here and, and kind of what we're up against. Uh, some of what I'll cover in my director's report is just the aging issues of the wastewater treatment plant that we need to address. So, right. Okay. All right. And if there's no more discussion, we will continue this uh, to another meeting. I agree. And we'll uh, post it on our future agendas as, as it comes up. Great. Thank you, guys. Nope. Thanks yeah. for taking the lead on that. All right. So that moves us seamlessly into your director's report. Yes. Uh, it's been an interesting week. We had uh, quite the accident at Union in Maine yesterday and took down the mast uh, for the northbound uh, stoplight, Maine and Union Street. Um, we had another mast in stock and look, we, you know, we had the light working again by like seven o'clock last night. So it was a, a, our highway department and motor repair and even the guys from the water department helped out a little bit just with scrambling for equipment and getting a detour and getting the kind of traffic management in place and making things work. So that was just a, uh, great example of what this department's capable of when everybody's working together. So that was pretty remarkable to have that light get hit like that and back in action, you know, have it back in service in about eight hours. So <laughs> well, I, I'm working on getting an, another, another mast here. We'll get it. It'll all get replaced. We had to put one of the broken lights. Well, it's not broken, but it's, it's, it's working, but it was damaged when it fell. So uh, one of what that one had, to, one of them had to, was able to go back up and we, the, our contractor only had one new light in stock for the time being, but the whole, the whole mast and the pedestrian buttons, everything that got smashed needs to be brought back up, brought up to new standards and replaced. It's going to be a pretty, be a pretty costly job um, to get everything you know, brought, brought up to standard and replace new. And I think there'd be some pretty serious supply chain delays with it. I was, I haven't heard it formally, but I'm hearing that mast is about a year out um, for manufacturing. So I'm hoping to get an answer from the uh, supplier within the next day or so and uh, get a, a, another mast here as soon as we can, just in case we have another, you never know if we're going to have another problem. So, um, Is that a financial burden fully on, the, on the city or, or does insurance, you know, motor vehicle insurance get involved in? Yeah, like that? we will be able to, hope, you know, ideally we'll get the money back from the insurance company. And we generally do. I'll, itemize a bill and get a bill from the contractor you know okay we will need to cover the contractor 
for the time being. Oh, understood. Yeah. yeah. Just long-term. Yeah. If, if there's a mechanism for that, it will, it will come back event eventually, but, um, I, you know, ins insurance companies get funny. I shouldn't say it will, but it generally does. So, okay. Uh, but we'll, per we'll pursue that that we've got all the information from the driver and everything. So, um, we're lucky that nobody else, that no one really got hurt and there wasn't more vehicles involved in it. So, okay. um, I've got Northern tree service in town working on some of the, you know, immediate hazard trees that we've, uh, that the tree warden identified as, you know, needing to be removed as soon as possible. Um, they took down two today, uh, near 188 Pleasant street. Uh, they'll be working on a couple of trees on Park Street, trimming a couple of trees on East Street, um, removing a tree on West Green Street. Uh, the list kind of goes on and on, but they'll be in town today and tomorrow. So they were in town today and they'll be back again tomorrow uh, working on those. Th that's another uh, appropriation I'll be, be looking for with the mayor's office to just kind of get us up to speed with where we need to be as far as hazard tree removals go. I mean, we're doing the worst of the worst right now, but there's others that that, sh that have been identified that we need to, we have a lot of, I guess what I'm getting at, we have a lot of tree work to do and I don't really have the, the money in the budget this year to do it. But um, I think our, you know, management of the city canopy needs to, needs to get caught up. And then, well, you know, if we can get it caught up, it will be, in, be able to, you know, do some replanting and some species that don't get as large right next to the road and, and things like that, or more salt tolerant trees. And, uh, so that's uh, where we're at there. I've got, so we, you'll be seeing more and more tree work happening, I guess is what I'm, what I'm getting at. But also I mentioned earlier, some of the needs at the wastewater treatment plant um, will be putting an appropriation forward from retained earnings. We've got, um, a, just aging equipment like throughout the plant uh, re, the bucket elevator and, the, and components is about $25,000 we need another about $30,000 to replace the uh, air actuated valves in the primary gallery we had to replace one of the pump station um, macerator pumps at Ashley Circle that was about $7,000 uh, some of our SCADA system the supervisory controls and data acquisition system that allows the plant to plant and pump stations to communicate. Um, they're being used, they're three G cellular units and are not compatible with the new four G network. So we have some costs associated with replacing those. Uh, it's looking like it's going to be about $12,000, uh, a new plant water strainer. Uh, we're looking about just over 20,000 for that. So it's, some small things that that add up to a decent amount of money that we kind of that we need to deal with uh, to keep the plant running so uh, i didn't want to put much forward for uh, retained uh, retained earnings appropriations until we knew that where we were going to be at with cherry street and the water and sewer main replacement but these are pertinent needs of the wastewater treatment plant that can't really that can't really be delayed much longer so uh, that and we need to appropriate some money to purchase water meters that were that'll also come from retained earnings we generally appropriate fifty thousand dollars a year from retained earnings to the water department budget for water meter replacements so um, we, we just we hit a point in the year where we you know the money we had from last year is exhausted and we, we need to replenish that account so altogether i think it'll be about a i think i told you in the last meeting we had about 2.492 million dollars and um in the enterprise retained earnings account we'll be looking all this together about 100 100 i'm sorry about 150,000. so well that's that's what it's for so. yep absolutely so. all right yeah Capital improvements. That's, that's why we keep keep that keep that keep that account there, right? Keep that. Yeah, account. exactly. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and uh, Main Street, the paving's moving right along. Right. And to final paving will now be on Friday and Saturday of this week. Uh, we'll have a detour. Oh, we're going to detour all the northbound traffic on route on uh, on Main Street at Coleman Road and. Uh, down Coleman Road over to Gun Road and to Pleasant Street and back to Line Street. Uh, that detour will go into place Friday morning to try to keep as much northbound traffic off of Main Street as possible. So they're going to start with 
they're going to start at the north end of the project and work south, um, paving the southbound lane first Friday morning and uh, work their way back up on Saturday. So hours for that work will be 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. both days. It'd be great to see that have a final coat of blacktop on it. So. Yep. That's uh, basically where things are at for, for, this, for right now. All right. Thank you for that update. Um, if there's no other questions for Greg, um, I will make a motion. Yep, to I'm you. all set. Tom. You're all set? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, then uh, our next meeting will be on December 1st. Is that correct? Yep. All right. So uh, until then, I'll make a motion to close this evening's meeting. And I will second that. Okay. Thomas Malsberry? Yes. David Vagnon? Nope. Yes. Motion carries. Hey, right. David, have they been in contact with you about your driveway apron over there? They have not. Okay. I'm I'm going to look into that first thing in the morning. I found that was interesting. You said they were going to pave so because <laughs> they haven't done the apron yet. Yeah, they haven't. I, I was hoping, I thought he had talked to you or something and was uh, working around your schedule, but I'm going to look into what's going on with that in the morning. I'll stop and see you. Okay, great. Have a good night. All right. Good night, all. Good, good night, night everybody. Have a good holiday. See you in December. All right. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Happy Thank holiday. you.